Hey, what's up guys? Aram Case here and in today's awesome tutorial I'm gonna show you how to work in Aces color space and use completely different cameras in order to output for the same, let's say, Rec. 709. I know a lot of you ask me, um, I did a previous tutorial explaining what the Aces is and how you set it up and a lot of you guys ask me what if you have different cameras. Well, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to work with the different cameras for example, if you have red, black magic, and Ari Alexa, like I have right over here. And before we start, I want to say special thank you to Rafael Perez for uh, providing me this amazing footage of a of a lady. And then I have an aerial shot of Newman film, and another shot I have downloaded from the red.com. And you guys actually can go download. It's free. It's basically you can use to test out or play around and see how the camera holds on. Anyways. So let's continue. I'm gonna go into edit and basically I'm gonna drop all my files and whatever the priority gonna be of the timeline doesn't matter we're not doing resolution right now. So I already set up over here in the color management in the project Asus CCT from um, from regular DaVinci YRGB and in the color management I set up input as Blackmagic 4.6 and output as Rec. 709. Okay, so now we're in the color and everything kind of looks the same, but I know that this is not, this shot right here is not designed for Aria Alexa. So how are we going to change that? Basically the solution is very simple. So watch this. I'm going to go in this little icon, right click, ACES input transform, and I'm just going to click Alexa and boom there we have it the, ch the color science changed and now basically if we're working in ACES it reflects the proper color science now the same thing we can do for red camera and I actually already have done it over here if we're gonna go to ACES input transform we can select red lock film and over here project let's see it's not even letting me because it's already selected in here is our native as I set it up in the master settings so basically let me do let me just show you a quick example um, let me do a little bit of grading let's see something something simple that way we're not gonna go too clever into this okay that way we can see a little bit uh, kind of like that maybe a little bit more Okay, like this, let's crash blacks a little bit, okay, let's do it like that, and like that. Okay, so let's check it out, before and after, okay, so now we have a grade. And the beautiful thing about working with ACES color, that once you have a grade established for one camera, you basically can just copy and paste to another camera. So here we have the look right over here and I'm just going to paste that look right over here obviously you know the color temperature to begin with is a little bit different but it works and I can demonstrate for example let's see if I'm gonna uh, go to the color reset same thing over here I'm gonna do color reset and if I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna right click over here and basically let's see shot match to this clip okay so it gives us a basic standard beginning if you have a lot of cuts this is a very good option to kind of you know bring everything to the similar color that way you can easy apply the same grade to different shots again this tutorial is not about that but let's continue so now we have this again I'm applying the same grade and for this one I'm going to right click and I'm going to click a pen to note graph. And if we're going to take those clips side by side, okay, actually let's do it like this, neighbor clips, select the clips, I'm sorry, let's do full screen, we can see that this looks almost identical that it's a part of the same film. However, we're using completely different camera. The one on the left is Blackmagic 4.6K. The one on the right is RA Alexa. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my new channel, filmcolorist.co. I'm going to be posting all the tutorials over there. We're going to have more lots coming out. 
and it's going to be a lot of material related to cinematography, photography, color grading and all other cool stuff. So filmcolorist.co, check it out. <laughs>